Hey folks, Rob Cohey here talking a little bit about what's new in Inventor 2011. Now one of the things that's new in Inventor 2011 is iLogic technology is now in the box functionality. Now iLogic technology dramatically simplifies rules-based design for even beginner Inventor users. And yes, even those with little or no programming experience like myself. Now with iLogic, engineers embed engineering and product knowledge directly into digital prototypes. Now, this means that you're going to be able to derive and reuse standard configurations to reduce lead times and costs. Now, one of the things new in Inventor 2011 is that the iLogic technology is now directly integrated into the parameter table. We don't need an extra dialog box in order to integrate with this. Now, you can add numeric, text, and, and frame-based rules, and, and, and new in 2011, we've got the ability to control drawing information through iLogic. So, you know, in this example here, if I've got a huge assembly that I'm going to change to a smaller assembly based upon what, you know, the hub designation here, I want the drawing size to automatically update as well. So I'll go back in my parameter dialog, change to a smaller size. You can see it's dramatically different. So when I go back in the drawing, not only it changes the drawing size, but it's also adjusting any, any particular scales. Now iLogic provides a more effective means of creating, capturing, and reusing product knowledge by allowing designers and engineers to capture and reuse that design knowledge. Now rules in iLogic are the fundamental building blocks and they're very easy to set up here. I just want to make sure that the thickness of one parameter is going to control the face diameter which is going to control another diameter all along the line. So when I go and change the face diameter, it's pulling the specific sizes for say face thickness. Now once I get to the assembly, uh, we're going to be able to apply the parts rules into the assembly environment and have it drive the exact assembly. So here, uh, a, a, an outside diameter is going to control a hub, which is going to control a hub type. Um, here I've got an example here. I'm setting up a, a, another rule. And again, I'm pulling from the, uh, the snippets. Now these snippets are existing pieces of code that you know, maybe I've used this once before in a previous design. I want to bring that over and integrate it into this design. Again, just pulling from libraries and putting in my design intent into this assembly and not only controlling features but also controlling size of different parts in an assembly. Again, making sure that my engineers are pulling from information that's already been pre-approved. Now with 2011 we also have the ability to associate an Excel spreadsheet to a design. So here I'm bringing in uh, an Excel spreadsheet and pulling information from that spreadsheet to have it drive parameter and feature type information right here inside the modeler. And again, I didn't have to learn a whole bunch of code in order to be able to accomplish this. Now the ultimate thing with iLogic is to be able to drive an entire product line. So here I was able to change the belt width, which changed the pulley heads, which changed the length, uh, and so on and so forth. iLogic technology, again, in the box functionality with Inventor 2011.